General Dynamics, a vigorous modern high technology manufacturer, over 64,000 men and women, present day pioneers working in 30 states and 10 foreign countries on the frontiers of science. Daily meeting challenges in space, in the air, on land and sea, underground and underwater. The character of these tomorrow builders underwrites the strength which is General Dynamics, and all contribute to the creative process. The Convair Division, located in San Diego, California, is a principal operating unit of the corporation and concentrates much of its time and energies in the pursuit of national goals. For the United States Air Force, and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, we designed and developed Atlas first, then Centaur. Atlas and Centaur are both made of stainless steel thinner than a dime. They are pressurized inside, which keeps them rigid like a football. Their scientific triumphs glisten more brightly than the stainless steel skins they wear into space. Atlas has been called the sword and shield of the Western world, the workhorse of the space age. With experience equal to none in all of rocketry, Atlas put the first human voice into space in 1958, and people heard it everywhere. astronomical observatories above Earth's atmosphere for the first undistorted views of the universe. Applications technology satellites into Earth orbit to prove out concepts and equipment for spacecraft of the future. Unmanned landers to the moon, forerunners of the men to follow. Mars flybys and orbit to study that planet. Communication system of stationary orbit Earth satellites linking the continents via telephone, telegraph, and television. Flyby of Jupiter, December 1973. 
then continuing on to become the first man-made object to escape our solar system. Second payload to Jupiter, launched April 1973. Then, following a successful mission, dispatched on to Saturn. Estimated time of arrival, 1979. First launch of a spacecraft for a dual planet mission to collect data and televised pictures from both Venus and Mercury. Centaur has also operated with the Titan launch vehicle for some spectacular achievements. Four flights by the close of 1975. The West German program, Helios, utilizes Titan Centaur to place its probes in heliocentric orbits to study the sun. From recent post-Helios experiments, including five additional engine starts and coasts of up to five and a quarter hours, Centaur has demonstrated that it can handle more complex missions, that its future still lies among the stars. The Viking One launched to Mars via Titan Centaur on August 20th, 1975. And a second launch, three weeks later, marked the beginning of America's most ambitious unmanned space venture to date. First touchdown on Mars, scheduled for July 4th, 1976, the 200th anniversary of the United States, our first soft landing on an outer planet. Once in Mars orbit, each Viking will separate into two primary systems, an orbiter and a lander. Together, they will study the red planet from orbit, during descent and on the Martian surface, including the search for life. The Atlas can be launched from the Western Test Range at Vandenberg, California, or from the Eastern Test Range at Cape Canaveral, Florida. The facilities at the Cape include two launch pads controlled by a single blockhouse. All Atlas Centaur birds begin their missions from here. Status check. Propellants. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Centaur. Pressurization. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Atlas Autopilot. Go. Centaur Autopilot. Go. Launch Director. Go. All recorders fast. Minus 12 seconds. Engine start. Hold it. Stop that launch for a minute while we take a closer look at what's happening. This countdown didn't start just within the last few hours on the launch pad. And not even a few weeks ago in the controlled environment of the clean room where many preparations for flight were carried out. No, this countdown to launch actually began two, three, even four years ago. It started the day the first part was produced for this launch, and it will continue until success in space is achieved. And each person involved, no matter in what capacity or where along the chain of critical production and preparation, is vital to the countdown. It takes more than 5,000 parts to make an atlas. 6,000 to make a centaur. Over 11,000 parts from over 1,500 vendors and suppliers. And every one of these 11,000 parts must contribute its own reliability to the countdown. One defective part out of all these thousands and a scientific milestone becomes just a multi-million dollar fizzle. A perfect flight can only be created by a perfect team of suppliers, technicians, scientists, mechanics, engineers, and so on. An Atlas Centaur team composed of thousands upon thousands of people scattered throughout the nation, working toward one goal, a successful countdown. Engine start. On at five, four, three, the vital cargo passes from the hands of man to the machinery of space flight. The shield of fiberglass that protected it on Earth from the elements now gives it refuge from the buffeting and heating of the atmosphere.
two and a half minutes above Earth, the Atlas booster engines shut down and drop away. Atlas, speak. We have a booster engine cut off. Atlas, booster engine, Jettison. Please show Jettison. Sustainer and vernier engines thrust the Atlas Centaur onward. Sustainer thrust chamber is nice and steady, and we have a good attitude control with sustainers. The protective panels, no longer needed, are thrown away. Centaur insulation panel jettison, all four panels. Panel jettison confirmed at AE. When the proper velocity is achieved, Atlas shuts down, and Centaur separation occurs. We have Atlas sustainer control. shut down. We have Seacom. We got separation. Tell to verify separation. Now Centaur fires for the first time, driving its payload into parking orbit. Centaur stops its engines, coasts, and starts again, steadying its aim on that pinpoint in space where the spacecraft will be placed on its own. Then Centaur shuts down its engines again, separates, and backs away, leaving the spacecraft on a precision course to its target. So, we at Convair, and all who participate with us in our ongoing programs must always be performing in a 100% perfect countdown atmosphere. Other programs, some in progress, some to come, in our countdown to success, include the Mariner Jupiter-Saturn mission, whereby two advanced Mariner spacecraft are launched in 1977 by Titan Centaurs. In a nearly four-year journey, the spacecraft will reach Saturn via a gravitational swing-by of Jupiter. Three Atlas Centaur launches in 1977, 78, and 79 of NASA's High Energy Astronomy Observatory, HEO, a high-sensitivity, high-resolution spacecraft for studying celestial X-rays, gamma rays, and cosmic rays. Two Pioneer missions in 1978 to orbit Venus and probe its atmosphere. Intelsat-5 follow-ons to the current Intelsat-4 series of communication satellites. COMSARS, COMSAT domestic telephone communication satellites for AT&T. FleetSatcom, a worldwide UHF communication system for the Navy. And so the Atlas Centaur space launch vehicle continues to blaze its way into history. With a multitude of countdowns chartered for the years ahead, each of us has the responsibility to make our part of each countdown perfect, to make each countdown a countdown to success. Thank you.